Hello there and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at a web framework. And this web framework is called JustPy. So JustPy is basically an object-oriented and component-based high-level Python web framework. And it requires no front-end programming because it is using, I think, Starlet and uh, maybe Quasar behind the scenes. But we are going to see. So uh, this is going to be an introductory video. And after the introduction, uh, we will have a separate video about different components. So let's create a folder gstpy <coughs> and create a virtual environment gstpy inside this virtual environment we are going to install justp so let's activate it and pip install justp if the installation completes we are going to open up our favorite code editor and create our hello world and we will talk about how uh, we can use this so let's wait for it to complete oh it's picking up quite a few packages so desktop just be <coughs> All right, so as every decent programming tutorial, this should also start with a hello word.py. So how do we create a JustPy uh, web application? We need to import JustP and we can define the hello world. This is going to be a function based approach and we define our web page and this will be an instance of the JustPy's web page class. On our web page what we would like to do is to add the JustPy.hello and we would like to have this as the web page and the return the web page and now we can use the just by just by hello world so we call the function and tell it to run so let's run it hello world.py and now we can visit our browser and we have a clickable component so this is basically uh, the hello world application and as you can see running it is basically executing it with the Python uh, interpreter <clears throat> so every element that we see in the source code is basically our instances of the of a component class so basically what we could do is to add the, uh, what should we do a paragraph from the just by that p and we could say that we want the text to be hello world and uh, we can use the web page dot add paragraph and let's save it and if we restart this application and visit our page you can see that the paragraph was added now as you can see if we check the source code uh, yeah it's using the tailwind css for formatting i think you can uh, swap it out but basically this is where 
the magic happens. So what we do is to pass components to a variable and the framework knows how to deal with it. So how to render it. And yeah, so we have seen how we can add a paragraph and uh, yeah, we also have a situation when we have a request coming from a web browser. So every request is going to render this web page. Uh, we can create another hello world example. So let's create the hello world 2.py. And here we will import just p as jp. And we create the hello world 2 function. And we create the web page from the jp web page and for i in range 5 we would like to add a jp dot p so a paragraph with the following text this is going to be the, an f string and basically the iteration i and we will have this web page Added, and we can specify a style so we could say that the font size is basically i by 10 and let's go and make sure this runs from 1 to 5 and after that we can return the web page and we can say that jp that just by hello word 2 let's save it and execute it now if we go and visit our web page and reload it you can see that we have the values and let's see what we have here. <clears throat> we can also use uh, Tailwind CSS to style our page. So let's see how we can do it. Tailwind style.py. So we import just by as jp and we define the hello world 3 and we create our web page from the jp web page and let's say that this is the paragraph style and we are going to paste some styling so this will make sense if you check out uh, the Tailwind CSS. <gasps> can you see it? Yes, you can see it. But basically this way we specify the styling of the paragraph. And then we can go ahead and use our previous for loop. Let's copy and paste it and make it so that it goes to 11 or rather 10 and we have the web page and we specify classes so classes are css classes and here we specify the paragraph style and then return the web page and we say that just by that just by hello world 3 and if we go ahead and run it 
Tailwind style. We can visit our browser and if we reload the page, you can see that this is the styling that we got. And uh, when uh, we basic, uh, we may have noticed that uh, we are serving the same page to everyone and serving the same page means that the same page is rendered over and over again. So it has a performance uh, impact. And in order to overcome this, we don't have to use the hello world function, not in this case, but rather we move everything outside here. And inside our hello world 3, we are only going to return the web page. Now, if we reload it and reload the page, come on, we have an error in the code. So we have to adjust something. And here we have to specify the delete flag to be false. This is one thing. And hello world 3 can stay that way. And now we can serve the pre-rendered web page to everyone. And uh, technically that was all I wanted to show you in the first video. See you in the next one.